Hi, Chris and Marie. A big night last night. Tish James getting statewide recognition in last night's results, while Governor Cuomo sailed to a double-digit win. It was a big night for the victors, and there was a record turnout, double what it was for the primary four years ago. Cheers of victory from Cuomo supporters as the final numbers rolled in. The governor pulling off a decisive win with 66% of the vote, beating out actress and political novice Cynthia Nixon, who spoke to supporters after conceding the race. He took nothing for granted in this race, and when others were underestimating us, he did not. <laughs> and he spent accordingly. I'm so proud of what we've done. Cuomo did not talk publicly after the win. His campaign chair spoke on his behalf. It's a great night for the governor, uh, but it's also a great night for Democrats. There was history in the race for state attorney general. We did it. New York City public advocate Letitia James becoming the first black woman to win a major party statewide nomination in New York. James earning 41% of the vote. Now I'm going to continue to be the people's lawyer. In the race for lieutenant governor, incumbent Kathy Hochul holding on to win against New York City Councilman Jumani Williams, beating him by six points. Williams tweeting supporters early this morning, saying in part, I thank you all. I so appreciate each and every volunteer, staffer, and voter. With the general election in November now ahead, one key question, will Cynthia Nixon stay in the race as candidate for the Working Families Party? A July 18th poll by Quinnipiac University looked at what could happen if she stays in the race. Cuomo 43, Nixon 13, Republican Mark Molinaro 23, Howie Hawkins 2, and Stephanie Minor 1. I believe they'll have to make a decision, you know, uh, about helping the Democratic ticket go forward. It's important in New York to have that unity. Other big news out of last night's results, a group of New York Democratic senators that typically collaborated with state Republicans was ousted. Six lost their primary re-election bids. Only Senators Diane Savino of Staten Island and David Carlucci of Rockland County were able to hold on to their seats. Mary? Janelle Burrell, Janelle, thank you.